All right, everyone, it is Friday morning, the day before Newcastle versus West Ham, but it's such a long trip. We're starting today, staying over and going tomorrow morning. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting game, I think. Uh, I'm not expecting too much from it because Newcastle is quite a hard place to go, but they do have a few injuries, so who knows what could happen. Anyway, come with me to Newcastle. Come on, you want. A uh, great start already, already pissing it down completely. It's currently 5.30 on Friday. We've stopped in Blackburn for Blackburn Ipswich. We'll be supporting Blackburn. And uh, yeah, basically, it's just a bit of a time filler before Newcastle away tomorrow. So come on, you Rovers, and come on, you Irons. Go. Very nice ground, actually, Ewood Park. A win here would put Ipswich top of the league as Bristol City beat Leicester, and they went 1-0 up. Blackburn had a couple of goals disallowed. Ipswich were just too much for them and went top of the league and stayed there as Leeds drew with Watford. Finally here in Newcastle, we've been going all day, we did stop in Blackburn obviously, but now we're finally here, going to stay the night and then go to the game tomorrow. So I will see you there at St James's Park. Come on you ones. Morning in Newcastle, we're heading to the ground now, about two hours before kickoff. Uh, yeah. I'll see you there with some predictions. Come on, you right. Here are your score predictions for today's game. I'm going to go with a two-all draw. Dad, what do you think? Yeah, funny enough, two-all draw as well. And Bert? I'm going to go for a two-one win. Two-one win. So, two draws and a win. Come on, you irons. Pretty much in the clouds for this away end, to be honest. So high up. Brilliant view, though. And here come the teams. Come on, you irons. Three minutes in, Kufal gives away a penalty on Anthony Gordon. And yeah, this is going to be a long game. Check for offside, but gave it in the end. What a ball from Lucas Paqueta. Antonio finishes it and West Ham are level. 1-0. 10 minutes added on in the first half. And in the 10th minute of stoppage time, Kudus scores the latest ever Premier League first half goal. 2-1. Half time, Newcastle 1. West Ham United, two. Unfortunately, Ariola is injured and Fabianski will have to play the second half. But very, very quickly, Bowen makes it 3-1. Unbelievable. 3-1 up from 1-0 down at St James's Park. This is where it all went wrong. Phillips on for Antonio. Potential penalty for Newcastle, foul by Phillips. It's controversial, but VAR gave it and Newcastle get a penalty to get one back and potentially make it 3-2. Isaac's second pen of the game, Newcastle 2, West Ham 3. You just knew it, you just knew it. Harvey Barnes, who's come off the bench, 3 all. And in the 90th minute, Harvey Barnes once again, brilliant finish, 4-3 to Newcastle. Completely bowled it. Um, yeah, a couple minutes to go, but completely bowled it. Full time in Newcastle, Newcastle 4, West Ham 3. So that concludes the trip to Newcastle. It was very underwhelming in the end. Went to the Blackburn game, Blackburn lost. Um... Went to, obviously, the West Ham-Newcastle game. Uh, went 3-1 up and lost 4-3 in quite disgusting fashion where Phillips came on and he ruined the game. I'm going to say it here. It was his fault. All right, the penalty was a bit controversial, but why take Antonio off, who's just scored? He's just come back from injury, like, kind of fairly recently. And you've taken him off 
around, what was it, 69 minutes, and then you've brought Phillips on, and then push Ward Prowse up front. It doesn't make any sense to me. It just I could see as soon as he came off, everything just sort of went wrong. And we, in turn, conceded three goals. One being a penalty, which probably shouldn't have been. But the other two, perfectly fine and perfectly deserved from Newcastle. Because of our really kind of just errors throughout the whole um, time near the end. So yeah, that's it. Newcastle 4, West Ham 3. We, I think we deserve the point at least, but you know, to think that we were three one up and then we somehow lost the game in twenty minutes to go is quite disgusting. So yeah, that's it. Just got to move on now, and I will see you against Tottenham, which is a massive game. Obviously, we won at their ground earlier this season, so hopefully we can replicate that and do it again. But I'm not so hopeful. Leave me your thoughts in the comments, and I will see you next time. Until then, come on, you irons. But seriously, get Phillips out of my club. And finally, Phillips, mate, this doesn't help your case. Get out.